My name is Prashant Joshi. Today we are going to understand what is data serialization and we'll deep dive into Avro and sequence files. We need data serialization to compress the records and make the files machine readable. Apart from that, for Hadoop ecosystems, we also require records to be stored as a key value pair. We should be able to split the file so that it can be processed parallelly. And each of these input splits, we should be able to interpret the records. There are different serialization formats and forms available in Hadoop ecosystem. We have sequence file, protocol buffer, Swift, Avro, and Parquet. Sequence file formats are binary file formats that stores data in key value pairs. It offers the highest level of integration for Hadoop and its ecosystem. Avro file formats are also compact and supports schema generation. The schema is serialized as a part of a header, thus making the deserialization process simple and less restrictive. How to create a sequence file? Sequence file identify the schema of the record that we want to represent for each line and implement a POJO class with the getter and setter methods. We have used patent file as an example here. Implement this POJO class with the writable comparable method so that it can be used either as a key or value in your MapReduce classes. Overwrite the method, this read field, write and compare to so that the system will be able to serialize and deserialize the data. I have also written one utility method called read line, which is responsible for splitting, splitting the line and populating the POJO class. Next, I have written a method which is responsible for writing the patent file. We, we create a writer class object and then we specify the path where the file needs to be stored. We specify the key class for it and the value class and define the comparison strategy, compression strategy for this sequence file. To write the data in the Avro format, we have to define a schema class and use avrotools.jar to convert it into its Java representation. I've defined one utility method which create an instance of a data file writer class, which is responsible for writing the data into the Avro format. 